Hey everybody, Jason Schneider here, and in today's video I wanted to answer the question, what is a semantic reaction? And I wanna kind of start this off with a question for you, which is, have you ever had an experience where you were maybe home alone or in a safe, kind of quiet, safe environment, and yet you internally you were not feeling kind of calm and safe, that, that maybe you found yourself being angry or anxious or sad or afraid? Um, in your inner experience, you were feeling one of those emotions, but in your outer experience, everything around you was kind of calm and cool. Have you ever had an experience like that before? If yes, then you were probably having what we would refer to in the field of neurosemantic NLP and general semantics as a semantic reaction. And, and the reason why it's a semantic reaction is because that emotion that you were experiencing was not a reaction to the actual environment around you. So it wasn't that you saw a, a dog show its teeth and you felt afraid. It's that you were feeling afraid in a calm environment. So if the fear was not in response to some external trigger, then what was it in response to? Well, it, by the word semantic reaction, you can tell it was in response to your semantics, to your meanings. And in the field of neurosemantics, we refer to, uh, we define meaning. Um, it comes from an old German word that means whatever you hold in mind about something. So meaning means to whatever you hold in mind about something. And if you are holding in mind, uh, whatever you hold in mind about something uh, is what that thing means to you. And so if you are having a reaction, an emotional reaction to something and the environment is not what's triggering it, then what's triggering it, it is your semantics. And so that's really what a semantic reaction is. If you or someone else has um, an emotional response that's disproportionate to the stimulus, then the response is not due to the stimulus, it's due to some sort of semantic or meaning structure of what they're holding in mind. What does um, that situation that they're in mean to them if their response is disproportionate to the actual stimulus in the situation, or it's just some sort of meaning that's causing the reaction. It's, it's something that they're holding in their mind that's causing that response or something that you're holding in your mind that's triggering that response. And again, it's not the environment. So that would be a semantic reaction. And there's a couple of cool things we can do about that. I actually have a video or an article about uh, going uh, uptime and downtime in NLP, which is very related here, because if you are in uptime, meaning uh, in your present state awareness, um, that's one way to uh, get yourself out of a semantic reaction. If you have one, I'll, I'll try to put a link to that article or video, I don't remember which one it is, uh, in this video here. So a good way to get yourself out of a semantic reaction is to bring yourself into what in the field of NLP is called an uptime state. It's a present state awareness where you get in touch with your senses because again, it's not the environment that's triggering the reaction, it's the uh, internal environment that's triggering that reaction. So I hope this shines some light on for, uh, on, on for you about what a semantic reaction is. If you have any other questions or comments about that, I'm happy to support you. I love uh, helping people to learn skills from the fields of NLP, neurosemantics, coaching, and self-actualization psychology so that um, you can unleash human potential more effectively, more efficiently, starting with yourself first. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the comments section. If you like this video, of course, liking it um, here in YouTube or wherever you're watching this helps the algorithm to know to share me and my channel with more people. Um, and uh, of course, if you're not subscribed yet and you're interested in learning more information like this, definitely subscribe to the channel. So again, I hope you found this video valuable. I hope to uh, see you in a future video in the comment section and perhaps in a future course. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I look forward to hearing how this insight works for you.